This feature is called I Swipe, and I Swipe is a swipe like clone firewood, allows you to type words efficiently, efficiently by sliding your finger across the keyboard. She's called Delta, and it's a emulator for iOS multi-system emulator, written from um, the ground up by Raleigh Testuck. So he also was the lead developer for GBA Fire West. So Delta is just like GBA Fire West. I think Delta is finally updated to support Nintendo games as well. But that's really it. Delta and I, I mean and GBA Fire West are really the same thing. It's just that Delta finally got support to uh, support uh, Nintendo games. But also, uh, if you download INDS, that's that's made for Nintendo games. I prefer INDS because the cheat codes are so much easier to access. Um, with Delta, you have to like man and GBA Fire West, you can manually put in the cheat codes. But for INDS, way better, guys. You could literally just it has cheat codes automatically per the ROM that you download. So highly recommend INDS. And I just want to say before as well, obviously, um, if you have if you want to play Game Boy game, you also have to use Delta or GBA Fire West because INDS is only for Nintendo games. But obviously, like Delta, I'll start right here. These are not newly updated tweets. I'm just including them in the video because they're really useful tweets. Um, all Story Guys is basically a uh, reprovision alternative. I prefer reprovision. Reprovision works great for me. I don't have to install all Damien. I don't have to worry about this sign in. This is not working. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't not match my Apple ID. Reprovision worked wonders for me. Um, until reprovision stops working, I will continue using reprovision as long as possible. Uh, but some people think All Story is better. All Story works for them. It's kind of your opinion. You know, they do the same thing. They sign apps. Um, so the only the only purpose, to be honest with you, if you have absolutely unified install, the only purpose of Alt Store or Reprovision is to sign your Uncover or your Jailbreak app. Also, if you have the Checkmate app, the Checkmate Jailbreak, you does the computer, so this is kind of useless in a way. Um, but as long as you're in Jailbreak state, like that's why I'm trying to say is that like I use that to sign Uncover. I use Uncover Jailbreak because if I do have to go out of a Jailbreak state, I can just read Jailbreak, and then every other app will work because I've um. I have uh, absolutely unified, so. All right, let's speed up this video a little, guys. Uh, I have a ton of tweets to go through. It's going to be a long video. CLI Tools uh, made a package I use to install some CLI Tools I, I use often. This is called Complete PP Sync Remover. Completely remove. Uh, attempts to clean, cleanse your iOS install of all traces of the horrible random Chinese app sync, PP Sync. Also, guys, um, iPogo. It's not a tweak itself, but it's like a tweaked version of... Um, uh, Pokemon Go. Um, if you guys still play Pokemon Go, you can download iPogo. You, I'm not sure if you get banned or not, but you know it uh, allows you to like basically have like a modded version of uh, Pokemon Go. It's called iPogo. You can find it in like third-party app stores. This is called Telegram Contency uh, Provider, and it's a Telegram Avatar Provider for Contency. This is called Panor uh, Panorama Papers, and as a different image to search Springboard screens. This is called Screen Time Faker. I did see a Reddit post of someone asking you question this. Uh, I guess you could like troll your parents or you know, be like, how long were you on your phone for? You'd be like, oh, I was only on YouTube for five, 20 minutes and you know you're on it for like three hours. <laughs> I mean, great tweak. Um, just like if you're obviously older and you don't have screen time at all because you're an adult or just a teen or whatever you are, or you're just a kid and your parents don't care to give you screen time. Tweak is kind of useless, but still pretty cool. All that you do is fake or change the total usage and date of any application. Supports iOS 13 and 14. So, an old tweet, guys. It's called My or Me V Tones. This wasn't a Reddit post. Someone wants to get this updated, but uh, unfortunately, right now it's still not updated. But I think it gives you like ringtones or something like that. There's also one for um, OS 3.0. So, this is like at least like 10 years old this week. This week. She's called Batchromatic. I highly recommend this tweak for certain people. If you want to like install your tweets, say dot devs, um, create dot devs. Um, it's great. So like if you if you like, I mean you technically can't do that, but I mean if you guys like you know have a tweak installed, and I would recommend if like the tweak is not on the Reaper anymore, <coughs> and someone else has that tweak installed, like the dot dev, they could create that dot dev to share with other people. So. It's really great if like that tweet isn't available anymore you can always share that dot deb and other people can install that tweak because for all the reasons tweets get removed from Cydia or they get removed from the sources uh, for plenty of reasons the repo could be on offline like game pigeon hats the repo is always offline so you can't install it uh it could be where the developer just removed it because there's a lot of buzz developer went to a new source or just like got rid of the tweets for just because they left the jailbreak scene who knows but still a great tweak obviously if you don't if you never installed the that week and it, it was like you know removed from the source you can't install it like this is only good if you already installed it and you want to share it that's why creating devs is so anyone, so anyone can install it if you create, create online offline devs and install the devs 
Leave our repo, leave our tweets, repack tweet to dot dev. So that's the feature you would probably use. Uh, repack tweet to dot dev. So you can share it with other people. This is called Project Launcher iOS Dev, and this is basically Project Launcher Dev. It's Minecraft uh, Java Edition comes to iOS, and this is just the Project Launcher iOS Java Edition launcher for iOS based on Project Launcher Android.